What's up everyone, Super Saggy here, back with another challenge, and today we have the bug slash insect only challenge. I use bug and insect interchangeably, so just keep that in mind. Also, this is the first uh, super hardcore one where I actually buy only bugs, so I can't buy sell anything that isn't a bug. Uh, so this is only possible with the addition of the new bug pets, which for tier 1 are Moth, Cucaracha, and Pillbug. Wait, wait, what do you mean Pillbug isn't a bug? It has bug in the name. It's a crustacean? What the fuck? Well, I mean, it's not like I went on to win this game or anything. God damn, I really need to do my research first. Anyways, there's nothing for tier 2, so thank god there's so many tier 1 bugs. Uh, for tier 3, we have Wasp. Tier 4, we have the first true bug scaler, the beautiful dragonfly. Oh, and, and Praying Mantis is there too. And there's no new ones for tiers 5 or 6. So there's also something else you should know. I actually did this challenge three times. Once with Pillbug, once when Caterpillar was tier 3, and I somehow lost the footage for this, which made me extremely upset because it gets astronomically more difficult with Caterpillar being at tier 4. And then this run that I have. I did it first try with Pillbug, which was very surprising, then four attempts with the tier 3 Caterpillar, and a whopping 47 attempts with that small change to tier 4. <laughs> the difference between that tier literally made this challenge 10 times harder. Yay me! So my game plan each time was to get as many early ladybugs and moths as possible. They by far have the best starts because I can broccoli ladybug as much as I want and moth will provide all the attack. Uh, Peach works really well too because uh, later on the attack is really going to matter. Uh, so pick, But also picking up some mosquitoes early will actually help out tremendously in the late game uh, for popping melons and peppers. I then need to hope to get a dragonfly or caterpillar on turn 5 through level ups while hoping ladybug can carry me. Wasp is really nice too if I can get it fast enough, maybe turn 3 or 4. And uh, a very important thing to remember is that positioning matters a lot with this build since you have dragonfly, moth, and caterpillar. Moth needs to have higher attack than caterpillar at all times so it triggers first, and the first unit needs to be ladybug most of the time, and then dragonfly, dragonfly buffs left to right based on levels, and you don't want to buff caterpillar if you can help it. This is kind of hard to keep track of at all times. Um, but then you scale as much as you can, and then Caterpillar will copy the Ladybug, and you hope to god you face some weak teams. We're also in customs, so it's cutthroat out there. So what was originally a uh, half hour challenge turned into hours of me being frustrated at the loss of a video and the torture of redoing the challenge. So like this video, or I'll come to your house and kick you in the shins. Just kidding. Unless. Anyways, let's finish this, this shit out so I can go back to having a beautiful day. Um, but thankfully we've gotten a very nice start here. We're about to hit the level 3 ladybug, and we were able to get our caterpillar on turn 6, which means, uh, we get it a couple turns early, which you basically have to. You need your caterpillar to be level 3 to copy over the ladybug stats, or you're just gonna be done for. Uh, getting into these later rounds with only having one big unit doesn't really cut it. Uh, at least on turn 8 we are able to secure the dragonfly, so that'll be a bit more buffs for our team, and this is when positioning starts getting really hard. Because I want to buff Ladybug at all times, I want Moth to be bigger than Caterpillar, and I need to make sure that Caterpillar doesn't get buffed, like, basically at all. Um, now... In this run, you'll see I'm I'm kind of frustrated with this run even, even though like I did really, really well. I just got crazy lucky and I messed up quite a few times, which is why I didn't like it. You know, I wanted this to be like basically a perfect run. Uh, but after about, you know, 50 attempts in altogether, I was like, I will take anything that I can get. Like, please, Jesus. And you notice that I actually buy peach there instead of broccoli because now... I'm thinking, you know, I have enough enough health, I really need enough attack. So every little attack point is going to matter here, especially since we're going to get into, um, I think it's like round 14 or 15 by the time we're, we're getting anywhere. Uh, so every little attack point is going to matter, 
which means I don't want to decrease Ladybugs anymore. That's literally decreasing it twice as much because Caterpillar is going to copy. Um, now, at first, it didn't really matter in the early game, but Moth, you know, I'm probably not going to get Moth to level 3. Uh, I really just need to buy, keep buying foods for uh, the rest of the team. I can't really afford to get Moth to level 3. And right now, with Moth and Caterpillar tying, like they're, they're at a tie for... Um, their attack, you notice that Moth triggers before, or uh, sorry, after Caterpillar triggers, which means it won't copy the attack buff that Ladybug gets. So it's all very a little confusing, and I really had to plan out exactly how this run was going to go. Um, especially, I had a lot of time to plan it out too, because I did it so many times. Um, but I'm really, really glad we were able to, to do this, because I, at first... For a while there, I was just gonna quit. I was just gonna be like, nope, I'm not doing it. You know, I'm gonna buy sell cow. I'm gonna I'm gonna do all this. But I was like, you know, one more game, one more game, one more game, and then all those one more games turn into 20 more games, 30 more games, 40 more games. And I'm like, well, I'm this deep in it. I might as well just continue it out. And I know I feel like people don't like the challenges as much. And you know, I don't. I'm not that certain on it. Um, but it just seems like people like wacky builds more than challenges. So that was like another incentive just to not do it. It's like, you know, I'll, I guess, cop out a little bit. I'll just, you know, I'll buy sell stuff. I do it in all the other challenges too, so why not? Um, But I was like, I can do this. I know it's possible. It has to be, even with the uh, Caterpillar change. So, you know, here we are. Also, something I'd like to discuss is, I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, Suboptimal is back. So that's really, really cool to have him back. Uh, I've been missing his videos, so that's really cool if you don't know who Suboptimal is. Very, very good Super Auto Pets player, content creator. So if uh, you don't know who that is, check him out. I'll, I'll link him in the description. Um, and I was just watching one of his most recent videos talking about how Super Auto Pets is like the most low effort... Uh, content creation you can do and I kind of agree um, but that's like a really big reason why I keep I keep posting it because it's so easy and it's so fun it's so fast there's just a lot of good things about it and you know I feel like it's um, you try to keep up engagement for your audience as well as having fun for yourself and and making sure that you know it's digestible because um, with some of the other stuff that I do you know Hearthstone League of Legends other little random games they're harder to edit. Um, I'm not as good at them. I feel like they're not as fun. And people just don't enjoy them as much. So Super Auto Pets has just been like the rock, you know. Uh, and But it's really good to have them back. So that, that's all I wanted to say, really. And um, I kind of agree with him on it being really low effort. That's why like, I try to put more effort into the videos. But then again, it just feels like it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so... But, you know, I'm going to keep doing it. I still enjoy it for myself. So if I enjoy it, then I think that's all I really need to keep going with this. Um, so back to the this last round here. We're on turn 15, 9 wins. Hopefully we can pull it out here. And I get Fly. And I think Fly is super important. I'm really, really glad that I sell Dragonfly here for it. Because Fly should put me over the top. If my Mosquito doesn't break some melons, then hopefully the Flies will. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. And you know what? Have a fantastic day.